What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. So today we're going to pick up and we're actually going to get a new business here. So in this one we're going to be doing Upgrade Heroes. So I actually have not done this business even in my Xbox playthrough. So this will be new to me. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what it's about. Alex wants to set up shop here doing custom upgrades. He's calling it Upgrade Heroes. And he needs a business partner who can really drive, but don't tell him I said that. You in? All right, sounds pretty cool. So, again, it's a hundred grand. I think all the businesses in the game are. So we'll go ahead and purchase it. I'll let Alex know. He's been waiting do some solo and see business. what our first mission is. Hey, great to see you. Look, I've got a bit of a business idea here. There's loads of cars around here that have real potential. I call them Upgrade Heroes. You go get the car, we do the magic, then show everyone what an Upgrade Hero can do. Sounds good? Good. Uh-oh. And you get to drive the courtesy car. Okay. Sounds good. You ready for this? So we're, we're going to get to our destination in two minutes. It's easy enough. Can be a hero. Let's get to work. Seems quick. 400 yards. Turn left. So we're not going to turn, we're just going straight through. Turn left. We're going to break so we turn don't right. jump over where we're going. Right, uh, here's where <laughs> we're supposed to make our very first pickup. Uh, are you nervous? Me? I'm not nervous. The 510, not bad. Japanese engineering, European styling. Best of both worlds, really. It was a good one to start, a Datsun. A client says it was the first car they ever owned and they always dreamed of winning races in it. Or at least, you know, being able to overtake something. <laughs> All right. Bring it so back, now we're driving this it back to where we Remember, were. It's not yours. And we can't damage yards. it. So, could actually take the road this time. Turn left. It's a little slow. In 200 yards, turn left. It's a neat little thing, though. It's crazy how far left. car design has come. Yards, turn right. Turn right. It wants to kick out a little bit. See what the interior looks like. Oh yeah, super old school. It's a very floaty feeling. Okay, and we need to park. So don't need to go speeding through. Excellent. I'll get the team to work. Okay, so now they're gonna whip it in to. It's ready. Look like that. Very cool. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Ta-da! What do you think? We've gone lower, wider, faster. Twin turbo inline six under the hood producing 337 horsepower. Oh, and there's that nonsense we strapped to the front too. All right. Should be a little Time quicker now. How about you take it into Edinburgh? So now it doesn't matter if we damage it. Open it up on the way. Alright, so to get three stars, we need to get there in a minute, 28 seconds. Listen to that! Never heard a Datsun sound like that, mm. have you? He is cool. Well, definitely a lot quicker now. Go through the roundabout. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Just a few trees in there that we can't go through, but we made it through cleanly. Get as wide as we can here. We're under specific instructions to be as loud and fast and conspicuous as possible as we go through the city. 
Oh, we're doing it, man. So we should be able to get the three stars. We still have 10 seconds right now, and just going right there. So here we go. So the first chapter, we got three stars on it pretty easily. Well, if we got your blood pumping, then I'm sure the client will be over the moon. I have a feeling we will need to wait too long for another one. Okay, so that seems like that's all it is, is we pick up client cars and then take them back to wherever and then deliver them after they get made up. So, pretty neat. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Alright, here we go. Back in the Renault Clio Williams as our courtesy car to drive to the um, customer's car to pick up. It said this time it's going to be an old Audi. I think it's an Audi Quattro, I believe. But we'll go ahead and see what car it is when we get there. Right, wait there. It will be along in a minute. Ah, it's a Sport Quattro. Sport an Quattro. Three, I think. See, they stripped all the fun stuff out and sold a few of them as production cars. Which is where this one must have come from. So it turns out the client doesn't just want to go off-road. They want to go off-road. Group B style. Alright. They want to have a lot of fun, so... Well, Let's see. We go. Get back to go the place the without damaging it again. So we have two minutes to get there. So this isn't where we're actually graded. Which is nice. So I guess what we'll probably have to do for the actual trial part of it is drive it off-road, I would imagine. These are such cool cars. Like, I really like the Sports Quattro. Not damage it. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. It was definitely a lot easier to drive there. Just cut through the grass because we're in the courtesy car to get there. But this is definitely a little more realistic. Picking up somebody's car, you definitely don't want to just bust through gates and stuff. There we go. Cheers. The team can't wait. This thing was built Let's for see what they can rallying, make it look like. Was completely mad. But hey, we like mad. Nice. All done? You want to see it? No. It's got the trademark four-wheel drive system, which should help you handle the dirt. And we've bumped it up to 800 wow. brake horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. Which may not help, but, oh, blame me. It'll be good fun. Yeah. It's going to be a slidey boy. I've laid in a rally Okay. Yeah. Going good to the top of the mountain. So. Tried to convince a client to set in his co-driver, but... Let's see. I'm gonna do a little corner cut here. We've got two minutes and 15 seconds to get to the top. Let's see. I don't know that I can go up that way. So we'll go over here. Let's see if we can get there hopefully in time. Oh, this thing is good. It drives very, very nicely. On the dirt, it just wants to slide. That's definitely the most fun part about driving on the dirt. Just being able to chuck it into corners. Just like that. Now let's cut corner again. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it there in time for sure. I don't know if this, this is kind of what you're supposed to do or not, but... Yep, okay. I hope they don't care that their car has been rolled over a few times. But they gave the keys to the wrong person. That's for sure. Alright. And... There we go. Three stars. Let's keep it going. Putting all of these in the auto show with the specs and modifications listed. You're there for the pickup. 
All right, Good. picking up the next one. We'll just drove the courtesy car over here, and it is going to be an El Camino. A very El nice Camino El Camino as well. Four five four. 454 cubic inches of engine. But what on earth did it want us to do with... All right, all right then. Challenge accepted, my friend. All right, let's get this back to the garage and see what we can do to it. Try not to damage it and try not to flog it too hard. Yet. <laughs> this thing definitely has some uh, power behind it. If I thought that Datsun was going to feel like a boat or felt like a boat, I don't know that I'm ready for this thing. This thing really feels like a boat. It. I don't need to rush too fast to the garage. We have two minutes to get there. Let's go ahead and start breaking. Turn left. Alright. Thank you, Gangley. Okay, the team to work. Alright, let's see what they can do with this. I think you're gonna like this mm. one, but best prepare yourself. We chucked in a seven liter supercharged V8. Makes over a thousand horsepower. I'm scared to even stand. That'd be the Hellcat engine. Seven liter V8. They dared us to beef this thing up. I think it's 7.2. Well, let me show this client we're not afraid of a little dairy. Eh? We gotta hit 100 miles an hour. Okay, so they're gonna get more interesting. So now we'll have to maintain 100 miles an hour. We have a minute to get to our destination. That is a little over two miles away. We've actually got 40 seconds to get there. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little corner cut, I guess. I don't know if that's faster. Don't know if we'll make the three stars. Not too worried about it right now, though. I'll come back and grind it off screen. It would just be easier if we did get it. Ooh, we're barely gonna get there. Oof. Oh man. We barely made it. All right, another one down. So we unlock the El Camino now. And we'll go ahead and jump into our next car. Alright, here we are. We're picking up the car. And this one's going to be something special. We are picking something up from the Drift Club. Let's see what we got. Good old RX-7. Alright, this one's going to be fun. If it's the Mazda I think it is, and he wants what I think he wants, this shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Taking this back to the shop. And we haven't even started fiddling yet, so try to keep the back end on the road, eh? Good old rotary engine drills right. there, man. Turn right. Whew. It wants to kick out stock, so. Definitely gonna have a lot of fun driving it when it's got some more power. But we'll go ahead and I'll see you when we get back to the shop. So the drives are getting a little longer. Don't waste too much time with the in between, so. Coming back up onto the shop now. Let's make sure that we can get this one stopped. Unlike the El Camino where we just couldn't get it stopped on the dirt. There we go. Let's see what they can do for this. I imagine that they would almost have to throw a wide body on it, right? Yeah, there you go. Are you ready to see Rob Glenn's new toy? It's a wide body drift conversion. Seriously, you and Rob are going to be the envy of everyone at Horizon Drift Club. Okay. Let's see what we have to do here. Let's take it down to Edinburgh, shall we? So we just need to get down to Edinburgh in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so that's not even for the... Um, three stars, so we'll have to see what we're doing. Oh gosh, where's the train coming from? 
Um, okay. I thought it was going to be a lot closer. We got a three minute or three mile drive ahead of us, so I will see you when we get into Edinburgh. Yards. Almost to our destination here. Left. Looks like we're going up to the Edinburgh Castle. Castle. Yeah. Some inside views. Man, I wish pop-up headlights were still a thing. They are so cool. All right, here we are. Let's see what they want us to do here. Lovely view from the castle, isn't it? Enjoy. It's about to get a lot quicker and more sideways. I'll do some drifting. I mean, it should be a surprise since we made a city. drift build. Should get those drift clubbers talking. Now right. the trick is not to stomp the throttle too hard. You have to feather it into the turn. Just my opinion. Ask Rob if you want the full lecture. All right, so we're going to kick up some dirt and drift around. So. Right. Time to to earn back end go. Twenty thousand. What the heck was that? Yards. Turn left. It's twenty thousand drift points. Turn left. For one star. Ooh, spun it out a little there. It's not doing too great so far. So we're doing this with traffic too, which is fun. So 40,000, it's three stars. Turn right. This thing really doesn't have that much power. Yards. Turn left. Look at you go. So we need 80,000 for three stars, huh? We probably could have started out Turn better. Left. Just weave back and forth. We should be fine. <laughs> This is definitely not how they want you to do it, I imagine, but it is what it is. We're just gonna get the 80,000 and be situated. So, there we go. Yeah, literally just hold the handbrake and move your joystick back and forth, and that won't be an issue at all. There we go. Very good. Next time Rob Glenn corners me for a good long chat about the finer points of drifting, I'm telling him to call you. Alright. We'll go ahead on to the next one. We'll do one more and then we'll uh, go find us a barn find and call it an episode or a video. So let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Pulling up to our next We're destination. Picking up a Chevy. Picking up so, I'm not sure what we're actually picking up here. Look at that. Ooh, an old Bel Air. 57 Chevy Bel Air. Oh, it is a thing of beauty. Do we have to drag race? Uh, can't we just cruise in it for a bit? Okay, so we're going to be drag racing. We're building a drag racing build on it. We got a little the old Bel Air. Here we go. So we've got like that, two and a half miles. An to me. Get there. In the old Bel Air. Three minutes. Check out the interior here. Looking good. It's gonna be a long drive. Hopefully this thing will be a lot faster once we get the drag build on it though. It's going pretty quick for what it is. I love these old cars. Slow down. You need not to damage it is the big thing. Okay. Well, it's going to be a little damaged. It's whatever. Alright, jump back out on the outside. Ah, gotta love the classic. This has been a pretty fun little business so far. Just seeing all the different um, varieties of cars that we've driven. Um, it's pretty neat, so... Go ahead and catch up with you guys when we get back to the garage. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this thing to stop. Just hold on the handbrake. There we go. Let's get the team to work here. Let's see what they can do with this thing. I've really enjoyed these missions. We got another finished. blower here. Prepare to feast your eyes and your ears. 
We lowered the rides and put seven liter supercharged engine. engine. I'm curious this if that is the one from the Hellcat. Just about anything off the line, and it looked gorgeous doing it. Hmm. Kind of look a wheel covers. Uh, All right, so we got a speed trap. We gotta get 155 miles an hour on the speed trap. Oh man. So is this the one that's in Edinburgh? It is. Okay. So this is the Princess Street, I think is what it's called. It's one we had issues with in our Super GT car in the last episode. So we only we had to get 230 miles an hour in that one. I'm not sure what we have to get to get three stars, but we'll find out. This thing has a lot of power. Oh my goodness gracious. This spinning wheels in six gear. At the roundabout, Let's see if we can take cut the first through. Alright, that's the smartest idea. Let's see if we can get a little cleaner out of there. There we go. Clean. You should be coming into Edinburgh now. And there was something else I had to remind you about. Something I forgot. Oh I mind the tram. Alright, we're gonna bounce off some wall. Dead ahead. All right. Put your foot down and smile. In 189. Right. I doubt we got three stars there. We probably got. At least we we got at least two. Oh, we got all three. Nice. Whatever you do, don't rev your engine at them. There we go. Cool. So we will jump into one of our off-road vehicles and let's go look for one of our barn finds. I think we have three or four on the map, so let's go see if we can find one of them. And here we go. So we're in the Ford Bronco. I believe this is the Hoonigan, Hoonigan Ford Bronco. And we are at the airport looking for the barn that's over here. So let's see if we can find it. I imagine this one should be relatively easy. There's not too many trees to search through. So let's just see. I keep an eye on these little groupings here. I say that and I'll probably have the most difficult with this one. But let's see. Look in these trees over here real quick. While we search, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I've definitely enjoyed playing the game. Um, I did make a group in Xbox or for Forza. If you're looking for it, you can find it over here under clubs. It's going to be named the Bomb Gaming Forza Group. And it's pretty easy to join. All you have to do is go to search clubs and type in Bomb Gaming Forza Group and it should be the one that comes up. So feel free to join if you want to. Definitely be able to spread a little community around there. Or build a little community in there. Let's see if we can get back to finding... The train's coming. From some which direction. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the circle here. Let's see. Let's go ahead by the train there. So then I've actually put this one in a field, which would be different from what they usually do. Usually it's tucked in some trees somewhere. I mean, it very well could be. I could just be missing it. out in the drone mode here in a second. Drone, mode's a, drone mode is an easier way to find them. I have to try to at least drive around to find them for a second. Train tracks, huh? Let's 
Move along these. So you can see it to either the sides. Doesn't seem like that. There's a building. It's not what we're looking for. But a building there. Ooh, there it is. All right. Cool deal. So let's see what we have in here. Well, it's something it. good. Yep. Hold it right there. I'm coming. Ooh, a TVR. I don't know what TVR Griffith. That's probably wrong. What is that thing? It looks like a spaceship or something. I think it's a TVR, but we'll have to get it back and put it together again. Give me a hand. Or Sagaris. Is that a TVR? I can't remember the TVRs very well. They're really cool cars. See you down at the garage soon. Serbia. Or Ser Cerbera. Something like that. Cool. So we unlocked a new one. Let's go ahead and jump in. We'll go find another barn find real quick, actually, too. Um, let's jump in right here. We actually have a road there that we need to drive on anyway, so. We'll go ahead and find this one, and then we'll call it an episode. Let's see, so we're just going to stay in the Bronco. This thing is pretty cool. I love these old Broncos. I'm excited about the new Broncos coming out. I'm a big fan of the Wrangler, Jeep Wranglers. Um, but the Broncos are cool. I don't know that I'd ever get a Bronco over a Wrangler. But I think it's neat that it will create some competition in the market. That it's definitely needed. Um, because forever it's just been the Jeep and then you've got the Azuzu or whatever it was, tracker that has like the convertible top so it's neat that there's more more competition in that market to where Jeep has to, you know, try to step their game up a little bit and you know, provide more more creature comforts and features to try to stay competitive with the new Bronco so, let's see, for this one what we're going to do is we're going to kick in the drone mode. Just so you all can see kind of how easy that gets. We can turbo through here. Hit the turbo button and we can fly around. Big old rolling field there, huh? I'm doing too good about looking around, am I? I feel like I used to be able to go up higher in drone mode. But it doesn't seem like I can go any higher. Okay, boom, there we go. So, when you find it in drone mode, it actually puts it on your map. So, if you'll, when we go back out of drone mode, you'll see that. We're no longer in a zone. It's actually got it marked on the mini-map up here. So drone mode makes it a lot easier. It's not too difficult. And I kind of like, you know, chasing them around. Um, so we'll go ahead and get over here and get this one. And see what kind of car we'll get from here. You found it? Nice! The Redditors are right. I'll be there as quick as I can. So that is another Sport Quattro, which we just used Audi Sport with Quattro. bullet the holes. And everything. People are saying this belonged to, wait, in the door are those bullet holes. Okay. Uh, explain later. Right now, let's get this to the garage. So we just got one of those from the story mission or business mission, we'll whatever you want to call it. So it's interesting that right, it's a barn find as well. So, all right, cool deal. So we have gotten quite a few mini cars in today's video alone, so we'll definitely be kicking out with some of those in the future. Uh, we got some good barn finds. Right now we have two left on our map. I don't know if we actually have any more outside of the two. This might be the last two. I'm not sure yet, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for future Forza Horizon 4 content. And we will see you in the next video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.